Welcome back to the show. We are now heading into the 814 for the Tussie Mountain Mountain Back Race. It's coming up uh, next weekend, and we've got two folks here. We've got Pam and Mike here, who is the race director. And Pam, you are the really cool uh, Dyslexic Reading Centers, uh, the charity uh, sponsor this year. You guys are working together. What made you want to team up? It was on him. Actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. So this is your 23rd year of doing this race. It is. We've, uh, we started as a, as a modest race with uh, modest expectations, not sure if it would catch on, and it caught on quite well. Year That's been 23 year. years now. Yeah. So, okay, 50 mile relay, and we're talking an ultra marathon. What does that mean? Right, so the first thing is, you can be a recreational runner and have fun. You okay. can run as few as three miles as part of a relay team. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Or a smaller team <laughs> and run more miles. Or you can do an ultra marathon. We have the 50 mile and 50K option, which we just introduced this year. And what made you decide to partner with Pam? Where well, did that come? We, we um, as an organization, we, we try to select an organization that's doing great work in the community, but maybe is lesser known to other people, and uh, they, they could really benefit from our, our support. Okay, so Pam, you thought, hey, yeah, we'll come on board. Uh, tell me about the center and the programs that you guys offer. So the Dyslexia Reading Center, we're based in Pine Grove Mills. So we're kind of tucked away, but we can take work with families as far away because we're, with the, the pandemic, we had to go Zoom. So our tutors can work online, but they t like to work in person with the kids because it's just a lot easier, especially with dyslexia and the instruction. So we are a very small organization, as Mike knows, like very, very small, but we are pretty mighty and we work, our, you know, we work really hard and we put our hearts into everything. And it's been a great opportunity to do this with Mike. As soon as we found out last fall, we started helping, volunteering, mm -hmm. and this year it's been gung-ho <laughs> with trying to like, help increase visibility, tell people about tell people about us, um, and it's, it's been a great experience, and we're really looking forward to the next couple weeks to see what happens. Yeah, and that's just, it's great exposure for you mm -hmm. guys, because we've got to take care of the little guys too, yeah. you know, there's all kinds of no nonprofits to give back to, um, and that's just really special that you guys provide these types of opportunities and resources for kids in the area. If people are interested, how do they kind of come on board if they notice that their child maybe needs some extra help? They just reach out to us. Uh, they can set, check out our website. We're at dyslexiareadingcenter.org. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Just reach out, and we can see what we can do to help because we offer tutoring services. We also offer dyslexia advocacy because some parents don't know how to work with the schools to get services from the schools, or they're just not sure where to start. It can be a very overwhelming experience, and I've talked to a lot of the parents, and you can hear the frustration and the confusion, and they just want help for their child. So that's what we try to do. What are some signs that people might see when they kind of know Maybe we should give you a call. <laughs> well, are really, they always, you know, obvious or? Um, for some of the parents, it's they they kind of just notice with just the reading, um, and then sometimes the dyslexia goes alongside with ADHD as well. So, okay. the, a lot of times parents will notice, or the teachers will talk to the parents as well and just discuss with them, like you know, we think something, you know, you might want to consider getting your child tested, evaluated. Yeah. Um, and we've had kids come in as young as six. Really? Yeah. And then we've also worked with adults. Okay. We had uh, a master's uh, student, like a grad student, come in and work with one of our tutors for about mm -hmm. a year because they didn't know that they had had, they have dyslexia. So it's, it's definitely um, something that they can reach out to us for, and we'll work with them the best we can. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm, s I'm sure you were so excited when, uh, when, when Mike called you up, I'm sure. Um, tell us what this ultra marathon is and so you're saying also any age can participate absolutely we have uh, a team of uh, old men of the mountains they're called their team captain is 102 years old oh my goodness running that's right and we have a 17 year old from Johnstown who is running the 50 miler for the third time she is a soccer player not even a cross country runner although that she joined really, the cross country team this year that's incredible um, why do you think events like these are important for the state college area I think uh, it's a great way to, s to showcase the beautiful venue of Rock, Rock Rock State Forest. It's a great place to have an, have an adventure time with your friends and family. Uh, the foliage is, in, yes. is wonderful in October. Mm -hmm. Cooler temperatures, it's just a great time to be out there. And people are from the, the area are just discovering Roth Rock for the first time who've been here for years sometimes. That's amazing. If people want to sign up or register, what's the best way to do it? Uh, they go to our website. They can, there, there's, a, there's a registration button right there on the phone on the home page, TussieMountainBack.com. Um, they can also volunteer. There's a volunteer page. We, we have 12 aid stations where we need help on race mm -hmm. day, October 16th. 
and um, they can also make a donation directly to the Dyslexia Reading Center, um, either on, at their website or at ours, and um, they can also come out and cheer. So whether you're a runner or not, you can still give back and help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. Anything else we should mention? Um, they could sponsor. We are looking for sponsors. Yes. Uh, we started, we came up with an idea to get, make sponsorship a little more accessible. So people can sponsor a porta potty or they can sponsor an aid station. You know, porta potties and aid stations are very essential to the runners. Obviously, the porta potty for reasons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the aid stations are seen as like an oasis for the runners. It's they, they come there, they get their drink, they get their snacks, they, they get medical attention if they need it. And volunteers pay attention and watch them too to see if like a runner might be struggling so they communicate back and forth to let them know and the volunteers are so essential to the event not just for the event to help it run but to the runners like they see these people on you know um, running and they're cheering for them and the the runners see them and they give them the life they check in on them they're, they're just yeah. so important and vital so we could really use more help on Sunday on race day Okay, well, we will have uh, details, too, over on our website, WTAJ.com. It's just amazing what you guys are doing, and I appreciate you stopping by to let, it, let our viewers know all about the race coming up. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break.